Welcome to Top 10s and in this video we're going to be going over the Beautiful Joe timeline and history. We'll be starting off with Beautiful Joe. Beautiful Joe was released on June 26, 2003. Beautiful Joe's core gameplay is similar to a traditional side-scrolling beat-em-up, taking control of Joe. The player is most likely limited to moving left, right, up and down on a 2D fixed path. The game contains platforming elements, such as the ability to jump and double jump. Combat consists of fighting multiple enemies on screen at once, with the enemies appearing from all directions, including the foreground and background. Joe has the ability to punch, kick, and dodge, which he can do by le leaping upward or ducking. Dodging enemy attacks successfully temporarily dazes them, leaving them wide open for attack. The player has a certain number of hit points in the form of life marks located above the FX gauge, which decreases whenever Joe takes damage. Health can be restored by picking up hamburgers. Beautiful Joe features unique gameplay elements in the form of Joe's beautiful effects, VFX power, which is designed to emulate camera tricks seen in films. VFX power is used in both battling enemies and solving, solving various puzzles. These three powers are limited by the VFX gauge located on the top of the screen. Normally the meter is full giving the player access to Joe's superpowers via his beautiful Joe transformation. The meter slowly empties when an ability is in use. Once it depletes, beautiful Joe changes to normal Joe, boring his attack and defense and leaving him temporarily devoid of VFX power. The VFX gauge automatically refills over time and can also be manually filled by picking up bottles of VFX juice. The first VFX power is slow, which slows time causing the player attacks to be more powerful, increasing Joe's reflexes and allowing him to dodge attacks more easily. The second VFX power, mock speed, allows Joe to move at a faster speed, creating multiple after image of him when he unleashes a flurry of attacks on all the enemies on the screen. Beautiful Joe is divided into seven stages or episodes, interspersed with storyline cutscenes and book ended by an opening and ending cinematic. The setting is divided between Earth and Movie Land, the game's fictional world of films. The plot begins in a movie theater on Earth in which the game's central character Joe and his girlfriend Sylvia are watching a Takusatsu drama, starring the aged superhero Captain Blue. The movie's antagonist, having seemingly defeated Captain Blue, suddenly reaches out of the screen and abducts Sylvia, taking her into movie land. Joe is likewise picked up and taken into movie land by Captain Blue's giant mecha, Six Majin. And inside the movie, Joe must rescue Sylvia from the evil Jado, the game's organization of villains. To help him, Captain Blue entrusts him with a V-Watch, a device Joe can use to transform into a superhero upon saying the word Haishin, transform. Joe promptly does so, inventing his own catchphrase, Haishin a go-go, baby. Beautiful Joe received a critical acclaim upon its release. Metacritic gave it a score of 93 out of 100. Next up on our Beautiful Joe timeline, we have Beautiful Joe 2. Beautiful Joe 2 released in 2003. Beautiful Joe 2 is a 2D beat-em-up which combines side-scrolling and platforming. The player takes control of either the characters, Joe or Sylvia, to complete tasks within each stage, such as defeating enemies and bosses and solving puzzles within Movie World. Joe has VFX powers such as Slow, similar to Bullet Time, Mock Speed, and Zoom at his disposal to defeat the enemy. He is joined by girlfriend Sylvia, who has also acquired VFX powers, however Sylvia has replay, which allows her to record and repeat an event three times in succession. Instead of Joe's mock speed, the replay power must be used wisely, as although it would allow the player to do three times the amount of damage to an enemy, being hit while using it will incur three times the amount of damage to the player. The plot of Beautiful Joe 2 continues immediately from the ending of the previous game. Having just saved movie land, Beautiful Joe and his girlfriend and new partner, Sexy Sylvia, learn from Captain Blue that the world will be threatened twice more. Joe and Sylvia leave Captain Blue's space station to attend an alien invasion from the forces of Godot. The leader of Godot, the Black Emperor, suddenly attacks Captain Blue and turns him into a statue called the Rainbow Oscar. 
one of seven in a set that represents Movie Land's power of the happy ending. With their power, the Black Emperor intends to conquer Movie Land. As you may have noticed from the gameplay footage, Beautiful Joe 2 was a big time graphical upgrade, and Metacritic noticed this, giving it a score of 85 out of 100 for GameCube. Third up on our list is Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble, released on September 29th, 2005. I think with this game, Beautiful Joe was trying to ride the success of Super Smash Bros. Otherwise known in Japan as Beautiful Joe Battle Carnival is a video game released by Capcom in 2005 for GameCube and the PlayStation Portable. It combines platform fighter and beat em up gameplay and features characters and elements from the Beautiful Joe video game series. Captain Blue is working on his latest film and decides to hold a battle tournament between those who are auditioning to determine who will get the lead role. As the tournament progresses, the cast begins noticing unauthorized equipment appearing unexpectedly and the strange occurrences on set that put them in danger. At the tournament's conclusion, Rachel is possessed by spirits housed within the film equipment, which have been attempting to sabotage the film and eliminate the actors and merges with the film equipment to become the ghost-like creature Tezukmo. The heroes defeat Tezukmo, turning Rachel back to normal, and the spirits lament through, through her that they only wanted to star in the movie instead of always being stuck behind the scenes. Joe and the others remind the equipment how important they are to the film's production, pleasing and reassuring them. To everyone's surprise, Captain Blue decides to make Tezukmo the hero of his next film. This game was released under mixed reviews. Metacritic only gave it a score of 62 out of 100. Last up on the Beautiful Joe timeline is Beautiful Joe Double Trouble. Beautiful Joe Double Trouble was released on November 2nd, 2005 and was the last Beautiful Joe game to be released. Beautiful Joe Double Trouble looks and plays similarly to its console counterparts, Beautiful Joe and Beautiful Joe 2. The game is presented with 3D graphics set on a 2D plane and has both platforming and side-scrolling beat-em-up elements. Both screens on the DS feature the same gameplay with the top screen showing a magnified view of the player character Joe. The player controls Joe throughout a series of stages or episodes which are divided into subsections with set goals such as defeating a group of enemies or reaching a checkpoint. Players combat enemies with punches and kicks and dodge enemy attacks by ducking or leaping upward. Successfully dodging an attack dazes the enemy, allowing the player to counterattack. Defeating enemies and destroying certain boxes grant player coins called V-Medals, which contribute to the overall score called V-Points, performing combo moves on enemy displays, V-Marks, which act as a bonus by converting to V-Points as well. Finally, V-Points are awarded at the end of each stage objective, with more points given depending on the player's performance such as how skillfully and quickly it was completed and how much damage the player took. V-Points can be used at certain stage checkpoints to purchase new attacks and items. Unlike the other games in the series, Beautiful Joe Double Trouble takes place primarily in the game's depiction of a real world instead of its fictional world of movies. The story is set in Movie Land, an action film style theme park. The game opens on the set of a film starring movie hero and director Captain Blue and an inspiring actress named Jasmine. Just as Blue comes to the girl's rescue at the critical mo moment in the film, Jasmine's brother Joe, dressed as her alter ego, Beautiful Joe, steals the scene. Joe's girlfriend Sylvia shows up, greeting Blue and Jasmine and inquiring why they are there. Jasmine explains her ambition to become like Junko, a legendary actress from the past. Suddenly, a group of villains crash the set and make off with a canister containing the reel of Blue's film. Wasting no time, Joe sets off after them. Joe quickly realizes he cannot use his movie energy to transform into beautiful Joe in the real world. To solve this, Blue has Sylvia record Joe on a special movie camera called a V-Cam. Reception of Beautiful Joe Double Trouble were mixed, but lean more positive overall. The game has a score of 76% on game rank rankings and a 73 out of 100 on Metacritic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked it, please make sure you subscribe and comment down below and tell us what we should make next.